So this is going over the your revision of um, power law rules, which some of you will know, but we'll just go over a little bit. Um, so f firstly, we'll go over multiplication. So when we go x squared times x to the power of 3, yes, when we've got x squared is x times x, and x to the power of 3 is, of course is x times x times x. So when we multiply th them together, it looks like that. <coughs> So we've got, there's my x squared bit, there's my x3 bit. So therefore, um, if we look at that bit there, that equals x to the power of 5. How do you get that 2 and 3 to get 5? Of course you add them. So we're adding powers to get the combined power. When you multiply power expressions or um, expressions with the same letter, you add the powers together. So if we've got p to the power of 10 times p squared, just add the 10 and the 2, and we get p to the power of 12. This one here, if you've got no number there, we just treat it as 1. So it's a to the power of 1, so we'll put a 1 in there. Again, they're all a's, um, so we can add them all together. 3 plus 2 plus 1 is a to the power of 6. Uh, just remember to multiply any numbers in front of the variables first. So we've got two examples here. So the best way there is to take your two, um, call them big numbers, two uh, the coefficients because they're in front of an x value. Um, two times three is six, and then go x3 times x4, add the powers together to get x to the power of seven. So the next one, take your two times, I'll oh, put a to the power of one there first, um, and then we go two times three times five, which is 30. Now count up the number of a's that you've got. You've got 2 plus 1 plus 4 and so that makes a to the power of 7. Okay, if we're looking at dividing. Okay, six does 6 divided by 6 equal 1? Yep, sure does. Um, and therefore x divided by x is 1 as well. Um, anything divided by itself equals 1. So if we look at x to the power of 5, there's 5 x's on the top multiplied together, and x to the power of 3 is x times x on the bottom, what happens? Okay, cancel out x over x plus x, and all three of those x over x's, sorry. And you get x times x from this bit here, and these bits are all 1, so we're just timesing it by 1. So therefore, x to the power of 5 over x to the power of 3 is what it was left here, and that's that x to the power of 2. So how do you get from 5 to 3 to get 2? You, of course, subtract it. So when you divide in, um, index and expressions with the same letter, you subtract the powers. For example, we've got these ones here. First of all, we put a 1 with the p, and because we're dividing, we're going to go 5 minus 1, so it becomes p to the power of 4. This one here, we've got x to the power of 7 over x to the power of 4. Subtract your powers, and you get x to the power of 3. Remember to divide any numbers in front of the variables first. So for these ones here, we go 12 divided by 6 first to get 2 x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 4, we're just 5 minus 4, which is x to the power of 1, but then, of course, we just write it as x. So for this one here, 15 does divide by 5, but the 5's on the top line. So what's the biggest number that goes into 5 and into 15? 5. So we're going to divide both of them by 5. And so 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and now we're with our a's, we've got a7 on the top and a squared on the bottom, so we we subtract them, so 7 minus 2, of course, is a to the power of 5. However, um, to tidy it up, we don't usually write 1, so we're just going to write it a to the power of 5 over 3. So now we're looking at powers of powers. So does x squared to the power of 3 equal x squared times x squared times x squared? Yep, of course it does, because we're multiplying x squared by itself three times. 
Now, if I look at that ago from the rules that we used before, 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6, and that's where we get x to the power of 6. So therefore, x squared to the power of 3 equals 6. So we just, how do we get from 3, 2 and 3 to get 6? We, of course, multiply them. So when taking a power of an index expression, so we've got a power of an index expression there, you multiply the powers. So this one here, c to the power of 4 to the power of 6, 4 times 6 is 24. a to the power of 3, and then we're going to cube it. A, 3 times 3 equals a to the power of 9. If there's a number in front, it must be raised to the power and not multiply. This is a common mistake. So if we've got these ones here, so the 3, you don't times it by 3, you do it to the power of 3. So 3 to the power of 3 times d, and we're going to times the powers. 2 times 3, so 3 to the power of 3 is 27. And 2 times 3 is 6. So this one here, we're going to 2 to the power of 4. And 3 times 4 for the powers. So 2 to the power of 4 is not 8. Just be careful about that. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. And 3 times 4 is 8 to the, to the power of 12. Okay, if there's more than one term in the brackets, we raise all of them to the power. So we just deal with each bit individually. So for these ones here, we're going to go x to the power of 3 times 3. Oh, we're going to put a 1 in there for the y first. So that becomes 3 times 3. And then we're going to have y to the power of 1 times 3 and z to the power of 4 times 3. And if we just simplify that all up, we get x to the power of 9 y to the power of 3, and z to the power of 12. For the second one here, we're going to square everything. Remember that any coefficients in front, we do powers of, so it's going to be 4 squared. Um, now we're going to times the powers, 2 times 2, and for the c, we're going to go 5 times 2. And tidy that all up, 4 squared is 16, 2 times 2 is 4, and c... 5 times 2 is to the power of 10. And that is just going over revision of powers and how they work.